Today I'm going to share with you all of my tips for being more sustainable around the holidays. The holidays is like notorious, at least in the US, for being a fairly wasteful time of year. I have some stats for you. Americans throw away about 25% more trash between Thanksgiving and New Year's. If every American family used a reusable item to wrap just three gifts, it would save enough paper to cover 45,000 football fields. About 35% of Americans have Christmas gifts they literally have stored and have not used in collecting dust. So that brings me to my first tip, which is to gift secondhand gifts, which I feel like a lot of people, the idea of that is like, no, no, like you don't do that. <laughs> And there's definitely a stigma around gifting secondhand, um, but I did a few gifts actually last year secondhand, and it was such a great way to find something super unique to give um, to my, this is my mom specifically, and she loved them, and it was just a, it's environmentally friendly, and there are so, there's so much stuff out in the world that giving something secondhand is such an eco-friendly option. An estimated 60 million unwanted gifts are given each year and out of those very few are actually returned and many of them end up in the trash. This year I am opting to give as many secondhand gifts as I can. I am partnering with ThreadUp for this video. As you guys know I have used ThreadUp for a very long time. <laughs> I, most of my wardrobe is secondhand and many of the pieces I've found on ThreadUp. ThreadUp is the world's largest online thrift store with all the brands that you love up to 90% off their retail price. Each item is hand selected and inspected so you know that you're getting high quality pieces from ThreadUp. Secondhand shopping is a smart and eco friend alternative for the planet as well as a very budget friendly option for your wallet. So I challenge you for this holiday season to kind of rethink your holiday gifting and try to incorporate maybe just a few secondhand items. Let me show you the items that I got from ThreadUp and it's nice because on ThreadUp you can shop a lot of different ways. I, if you're like totally freaked out by the idea of giving something secondhand, that's okay because they have a new tags filter. So you can actually look up everything on their site that is genuinely new with a tag that has never been used or worn. So great ideas for holiday gifting from ThreadUp would be like designer bags or just like handbags in general. Another option is to buy accessories. So like scarves, hats, mittens, uh, sunglasses are all great options to buy secondhand. Okay, let me just show you what I got now. So here's all the stuff that I purchased with holiday gifting in mind. So you know how I mentioned they have new with tag options? Okay, I bought stuff for Harriet because I, you know, holidays, I love my kid. Uh, we're going, my sister's getting married and she's doing a destination wedding in Mexico um, this winter. So I got her the cutest little swimsuit. Oh my God, toddlers in two pieces are so ridiculous, but it's just so cute. And look, new with tags. So this was originally $30 and I got it for 11 bucks. And then this is a really pretty wrap skirt and this is a designer one also new with tag amazing from mark by mark jacobs how amazing is that this uh originally okay original original 268 dollars then must have gone to like a consignment store went to 94 dollars I got this thing for 35 bucks. Very excited about that one. And then inside here, I have a handbag, a like vintage coach bag, which I think, you know, in a classic black color, I would recommend definitely when you're buying like secondhand gifts for somebody to buy them in neutral colors because likely that's gonna go with everything. Everybody needs a black purse and this is just a nice small size crossbody. And then it's very simple, like minimal embellishments and I think is just a very pretty piece. So I got this uh, secondhand coach bag for $70. You can also filter all of their, um, like their whole website 
buy like gifts under $25, gifts under $50. So if your price point is lower, then you can filter it out right away and buy something for $50 or less if you're looking up, you know, like black handbags and only want to spend, you know, 40 or 50 bucks. So like I mentioned, ThreadUp also has a lot of like designer options or higher end um, brands on their website, including these. Oops. Sunnies. <laughs> I should have thought that through. So cute. And it like still is in the original um, box, which I think, or like a case, which is awesome. And then here is an actual like secondhand item, and it's like, this amazing sweater. My sister um, always loves this one sweater that I have that is like a white cropped sweater uh, because it works really well with like skirts, high waisted skirts, or pants, and you don't have like a bulkiness to tuck in. So I thought this would be a great option as a gift for her. I got this for $27 and its estimated retail value is 140 bucks. Another option that ThreadUp has is they're introducing gift cards for the holiday season. So if you're not sure what to buy, another great option is to give a gift card for secondhand items. Click the link in the description below to shop my holiday gift guide and get up to 30% off your first order with the code KITTY30. All right, that's all for the items that I got from ThreadUp. So let's pop back in to my sustainable tips for you for the holidays. So my second tip is to actually gift non-tangible items. Another great, very sustainable option. So this could be something like tickets to a show or a concert or something that the person that you're gifting to really loves and would enjoy going to. Other options could be like a membership to a local spa or health club or a certificate to get a massage, maybe even something like a um, national parks pass or pass to the local zoo or a local museum that you think that someone would enjoy. So my next tip is to choose recyclable or reusable gift wrapping options. I think a lot of people are surprised to hear that not all Christmas wrapping paper or just wrapping paper in general is recyclable. So if the wrapping paper has like a foil on it, glitter or any sort of texture, it is not a recycled um, wrapping paper and it is likely laminated. An option that you can do if you still want like a actual wrapping paper is to find something that is unlaminated without any um, uh, metallic glitter texture to it or applique like I mentioned. And there's a test that you can do to see generally if it's going to be recyclable is like take a piece, crumple it into a ball, and if it stays crumpled tight into that ball, it's likely recyclable. Obviously, if it doesn't have like the metallic or texture or glitter on it. Also, tissue paper is not recyclable, but you can compost tissue paper. And then things like ribbons and bows, those are not recyclable at all. So if you get gifted something like with that on it, maybe hold on to it and reuse it. Uh, a way to just repurpose something that you've been gifted. So some low waste options would be to use something like newspaper, you could use brown paper bags from the grocery store, butcher paper, which is my personal favorite. I have just like a roll of that that we use like all over the house if I'm like painting something and need like a drop surface. I use that if I need to wrap a present, I use that. If I need, I don't know, anything. It's very useful and recyclable. Other really cool options would be to use like a flower seed paper, which I think is a really cool option because then you can take that uh, wrapping paper that you got or you gave to somebody, they can um, actually plant it and it'll grow a plant or like little flowers or herbs or something like that. And then of course you can use fabric. So you could like gift in addition to what's inside a scarf on the outside, or if you have some extra fabric on hand, you could use fabric to wrap the item. Or you could just like not put it in anything, <laughs> like do like a magic trick and just be like, here it is under a blanket. <laughs> And then if you wanna make your presents look pretty, like I do, I will use like twine or other natural elements. Um, twine for me is like compostable or recyclable um, and it's like a natural element so it would be compostable. And that other things I like to use would be like greenery I tie into the twine or you could use cinnamon sticks or you could use like uh, pine cones, things like that. Another thing is holiday cards. If they have any sort of glitter or anything like that, those also are not recyclable. Here's a statistic for you. Approximately 4.6 million pounds of wrapping paper is produced each year in the US, and out of that, 2.3 million pounds of it 
like ends its life in a landfill, which is like so sad. So if you can use a reusable or recyclable option, great for the environment. Another tip is to decorate with natural elements. There is the real versus fake Christmas tree debate out there, which is more eco-friendly. We get a real Christmas tree locally. So I think personally, my personal preference is that works really well for us. We also have a like a uh, city recycle option for our Christmas trees. Um, and so that works really well for us. We have a very close local option for buying a real Christmas tree. So the debate, you know, obviously a fake Christmas tree, if you reuse it and continue to reuse it, it is saving real trees. Um, but the flip side to that is you have to be sure that you're going to reuse it for a very long time. And those fake trees are generally made of PVC and then steel made in China, usually. Um, so you could buy like a, a secondhand um, fake tree if you wanted and use it for a very, very, very long time. For me, I just choose to use a real tree. It helps in to preserve the land to be used as, you know, like a natural plot of land, helps support my local economy. And like I said, we have a recycle option here locally. And really when it comes down to it, the real versus Christmas tree debate you know, make your own choice for it and what you think is the best, most sustainable option for you. But in comparison to like the big players in waste and environmental impact around the holidays, like uh, travel and shopping, it's kind of a, like a tiny drop in the bucket. And then when you're decorating around your house, opt for natural items like natural garland and then natural garland that is either you make yourself and it's like bound together with twine. Sometimes those garlands are bound together with like little metal um, like wires and you'd have to like take them apart and remove the metal wires to then recycle or like compost the um, like actual garland itself. So a good option is to find it pre-made when they've used like the twine or just make your own with the twine. You just tie it, cut it, sniff it, and just repeat and repeat. <laughs> Other natural elements that you can use around your house for like decorating would be like cranberries. I've seen people make like cranberries and dried orange garland, which I think is really pretty. And you could use like pine cones, cinnamon sticks, which smell amazing, and all are compostable options. Another tip is to swap your lights out for more energy efficient LED ones. Don't just throw away your like old lights. <laughs> you can often recycle them with your like local city or nearest city and just look up what your recycling options are for Christmas lights like that. Otherwise, it's possible that you could also donate them to your local thrift store. Another tip is to buy secondhand decorations. Have you ever gone to a thrift store around the holiday season? That thing is packed to the brim with old Christmas decorations. So if you need something like a stocking holder for your mantle or fireplace, they are everywhere at a thrift store. So instead of buying them new, opt to source some of those items that you can't maybe like DIY very easily from your local thrift store. And then another tip about like holiday decorating is to buy things that you really, really love that are timeless and that you can use year after year after year. One of the least sustainable things you can do is like change up your holiday decorations decorations every year and like ditch the old ones and get new. So try and opt for like a timeless classic Christmas decorations that are timeless and classic to you and whatever that looks like and just reuse them year after year after year and if you want to like kind of jazz it up or change it up for this holiday season layer in some like natural elements like I mentioned like garland, cranberries, dried fruit, um, pine cone, cinnamon sticks, like different things like that. Get creative or maybe if you have like spare scraps of ribbon or fabric or people gifted you some of those from years past, maybe you can repurpose them in a beautiful way decorating your house for the holidays. Another fun idea is to make your own holiday decor. For example, I a couple years ago made Christmas stockings out of um, thrifted uh, what am I trying to say? Scarves from the thrift store. I made a video about it, so I'll link that for you if you want to take a look and learn how to make the stockings. They're pretty easy. You do need a sewing machine, um, but maybe there's like a one on how to do it without a sewing machine you could find online. But I found them pretty easy to make and they're very unique 
and they, you know, you made it. So it's kind of cool to like take that out each year and hang that up on your mantle. Along with like excess holiday shopping, another culprit of a lot of waste around the holidays is going to be travel. Some travel is just like inevitable, visiting family and friends that are further away. Um, it's just part of the thing of holidays, but an option is to carpool with some of your family or friends and help to reduce the amount of cars and time on the road. So that's another option. Um, you can also, there's websites out there that you can help to kind of offset your carbon footprint, which I'll link below. And you like, you know, can contribute to them so that you help to offset, maybe you took a long flight or a couple of flights for some holiday events to see friends and family, which is I think super important and should be done. Um, but you know, finding a way that you can maybe offset that is a great option. So I'll leave those linked below too. And then another tip for reducing your like travel around the holidays is to like make a list for the grocery store because I hate when this happens. When I go to the grocery store, I get what I think everything I need and then I forget something and I have to run back or a couple of times and A, the like, grocery store is nuts around the holidays and I don't want to go there in general. <laughs> but keeping a list and you know making sure that you are including everything that you need for a recipe, inventory, your pantry and fridge before you go so that you really have a good idea of what you have on hand helps you reduce the amount of trips that you make to a holiday, like a, a grocery store around the holidays, which is good for the environment and <laughs> your sanity. <laughs> and then another tip is to avoid disposables during the holiday season at like parties or things like that. If you're going to a party, you could bring your own cup or like a storage food container for leftovers later. Um, or you could ask if you're hosting, hosting a party for your guests to maybe bring some cups along with them if you don't have enough cups for everybody. If you really need to use disposables for some reason, there are a lot of compostable options out there that are great alternatives to like the plastic stuff that's just never gonna break down. <laughs> and it's generally not recyclable at all. So this would be like truly paper, paper plates. Um, a lot of if they, they don't, you make sure they don't have that like shiny texture to them. Um, and then a lot of times plates will have like a compostable symbol. So if we look for those, and then there is, are a lot of compostable silverware options now, which I think is amazing. But asking people to bring like their own utensil for whatever dish that they're bringing is a great option too, to just help reduce the amount of waste at gatherings and events. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope that you enjoyed it and enjoyed some of these tips that I shared about being more sustainable around the holidays. I would love if there's something that I missed, by all means, please leave it in the comments below. I want to say thank you to ThreadUp for sponsoring this video and I hope you're inspired to buy some gifts secondhand this year. I know I am going to try and buy as much secondhand and local as I can to be more sustainable around the holidays. Check all the links in the description below, as well as more information about all the tips that I shared, and I will see you in my next video. Bye.